right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between the prodigy BJ Penn and Tony Ferguson. Well, he was the first man to amass a double-digit winning streak in the shark-infested lightweight waters in the UFC, the former interim champion, El Kukui, Tony Ferguson, back on the proven ground here. Today. Tony Ferguson was able to navigate the toughest division in the UFC. He's one of the most diverse, nasty strikers the UFC has ever seen. And you couple that with that college wrestling background. Every time you step foot in the octagon for Ferguson, you know you have your hands full. One of the most exciting fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is an eight-point striker, outstanding submission game, has a lot of good chokes in his arsenal. He'll lean on that Dosh choke, has a pretty good triangle as Watch well. That low single. I'm telling you, <laughs> Tony Ferguson ready to prove yet again that he is one of, if not the best lightweight on planet Earth. Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a freestyle fighter holding a special record of 26 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now it is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion and the former UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Prodigy B. J. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean has drawn the assignment here. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC. And two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Yes, in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the jiu-jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's gonna make a mistake? Who's gonna leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's gonna leave their neck out? Let's see when you put two great jiu-jitsu players together who can get their hand raised in the octagon. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice kick. 
action there by Tony Ferguson. You're probably glad you never had to prepare for a fighter like this in your day. I've never seen anything like that, and I'm not sure there's anyone like that going up in the weights. Tony Ferguson does not give you any idea of what you're facing. When you're in there, you're confused. He doesn't give you any type of pattern inside the octagon. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ferguson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his track. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot see he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, the leg kick. Nothing worse, right? Wheelchair tomorrow. You beat up that lead leg over and over again. It slows down the footwork of your opponent. It beats him down and it breaks him down. Great job. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy. Being very active. Chance coming in, big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. One thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together... Oh. And then the right to close the combination! Penn's gonna let his opponent stand up here. Just over three minutes now to go. Big kick land. Oh! Try to establish that jab. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Goodness, what a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near-perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Piranha Jam!